Okay, we're in the lion's den of classical players. Never mind this um, opponent's rating. Um, <laughs> this is going to be tough. I'm needing tough games. I'm, you know, I, I'm wanting to improve. So playing games that I've played previously in this recent um, classical batch is not going to help my game. So I'm going to push through the centre here. And having said that, sometimes when you're playing the ones who you expect to be tough, sometimes they surprise you and they're not as tough as what you think. So he's attacking this pawn here. We could go for like a protection, just bringing the knight, trying to keep it simple. It might be too simple and I might have missed the tempo. I don't think so. Nice defending. So they do capture, so we're going to capture on the knight. I wouldn't really envisage that they would take, but we will see. I think we're going to... Oh, okay. That's a surprise. So let's take here. See, when you're expecting fantastic, brilliant moves, I think that does help your sort of psychology in calculating. Because when they don't do that, then it's a kind of like a, a pleasant surprise. But... It does help improve your calculation if you're playing somebody really strong then you're expecting them to do the movements that you're calculating up to a point so we could squeeze in here put a check on the king or we could simply just take and keeping it simple seems to work for me they offered a draw Ooh, maybe they're feeling poorly or something our queen doesn't have any support so we could swing here just to put a check on the king and then maybe take the pawn off don't know if that improves my position you know check on the king checks first well position as well and let's capture position i need to get my king sorted out am i missing something i don't think Let's go here. They're going to castle. We need to castle. Are they? I don't know. There was, yeah, they've castled. So let's castle and we need to get our queen out of the middle of this um, ball. Ooh, they've got a diagonal onto my king. Shall we face their king? Let's face their king. And he's looking to trap my king and queen, you know. <laughs> Is there anything better? I'm looking, I'm looking, and I can't see. Let's just bring the queen back. And they're moving real quick now, so they've drop this pawn here does the bishop have some fancy because the queen can't do it by itself if we could sneak this in here get rid of this knight then that would be nice if the bishop comes here then it's x ray through to the knight so i think he's going to move the knight first before that happens yeah so this position he's got He's got that. Our bishop can take and we're on their queen. Or we could ignore that and just bring the bishop here. Because then that would be a checkmate. But is that spoiled by the knight going back again? Or do we just simplify and take with the queen? And then the queen takes, bishop takes. That's a simplified way of doing it, isn't it? I'm going to take with the bishop and attack the queen. <gasps> oh, I don't believe I just... <laughs> All that time, oh my gosh, I didn't even picture that he was on my queen. That is serious tunnel vision. Oh my gosh, I told you the two good. Oh. 
Oh, that was a basic mistake. That was terrible. Oh, man. That was terrible. Oh, give me strength. <laughs> All that calculated and everything. He's moving the knight twice. He's coming for this pawn here. Oh, can you believe that? <laughs> oh, my giddy young. Let's attack the knight. <laughs> oh, I'm not asleep tonight. Oh, dear me. That's terrible. Okay, can we come back from this then? I mean, like I said, I've said this is going to be a tough game, but I didn't mean by me giving it to them. Oh, for crying out loud. We put a check on, then his king comes down and is attacking our knight, so then the bishop gets taken. Oh, oh I'm so deflated. <laughs> oh man okay let's go here still trying yeah he's moved his king now because the, the knight was going to be putting the check on I'm going to try and put a 2 on 1 onto the bishop but obviously the bishop can simply move but if he does then we get the rook for free <laughs> dear me so the knight is going to be defending it. Can't actually go and defend, can it? Okay, fair enough. Bishop's looking to attack something. It can't do that. But it can defend, so that's where it's going. Ah, we can't get the piece back. Ah, damn, I thought we had a little bit of a sneaky thing there. But yeah, the bishop comes back here. Damn, I'm not going to get a break in this game. I wanted a tougher game, but I didn't want to be giving the game away. No. Oh. Let's take. So we've gained something back. Plus three. They've given us something back. If the rook takes, then we get the rook for free. But he's not going to do that because he's going to take our rook first. I'm just trying to clean clean house here, you can see, can't you? Uh, okay, so we've got a lot of pawns. And he's got a flexible knight. We've got 45 minutes, so we should be just taking our time now. Bishop can go. He's offered a draw. Um, I am not taking a draw. No, I don't think I'm taking a draw. I'm plus three. I've had the heartache of that terrible mishap. I'm wanting to claw something back here. I'm wanting to practice my long play game as well. <clears throat> it probably might be a draw, but uh, have they? They've resigned. Oh man, they've resigned. These guys, oh, 